so hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'm gonna show you how to add a, a csv file into rgis online so now let's get started so now we're gonna open a new browser here so in the browser i'm gonna enter as rgis online so in the search section I have entered as rgis online so i'm gonna click enter so now click the first result called rgis online So now we're going to click this option called sign in. And in my previous video, I have shown you how to create an account in for RGIs online. And the link for the video will be given in the description section. So now I'm going to in the username, I'm going to enter my username and password. So now I have entered my username and password. And I'm going to click this option called keep me signed in. And I'm going to click this option called sign in. So now this is the official platform for RGIs online. So now we're going to click this option called map. So this is our RGIs online interface. So now to add our CSV file into RGIs online, let me show you my CSV file here. So this is my CSV file containing the latitude and longitude of my sample location of my water sample. So you can able to see these are the different parameters that we collected for my study area and this particular data containing the latitude and longitude. So now I'm going to import the CSV file uh, into RGIs online. So first I'm going to convert this particular file into a CSV. So to do that, we're going to click this option called file. And in that we're going to navigate this option called save as, and I'm going to click this option called browse. So now uh, we're going to change the uh, save as type to CSV. So we're going to navigate this particular uh, file format CSV. The comma delimited i'm gonna click this one csv comma delimited and the file name i'm gonna mention as csv here csv water quality analysis and i'm gonna click this option called save to save this particular file as a csv so once you did, I did that so let me navigate to the rgis online so now we're gonna navigate this particular option called add and in that we're gonna click this option called add a layer from file so we have this different options starting from add a layer from a URL or you can add a layer from file. So we're going to select this. So now a new window pop up saying add layer. And in that we have this option called drag and drop your file or choose an option. So supported file formats are CSV, GeoJSON and KML. So I'm going to select my your device and uh, navigate to the folder location where you saved your CSV file. So we're going to navigate to my folder location. So this is my file, CSV file here. So CSV water quality analysis. So we're going to click this and I'm going to click open. So here fields optionally update the display names and field types to be used in the layer. So for now, uh, all uh, types, we're going to select all the data types here. So we're going to select all types. And these are the following uh, fields we have uh, in this particular uh, CSV file here starting with latitude longitude till sodium and these are the fields name and with the data types here so it is given for latitude and longitude it is represented in the double and the tds and calcium concentrations are represented in the integer so you can uh, change it according to your choice here for example i'm going to leave it as a default as an integer and next i'm going to select this particular option called uh, next and now the location settings specify the type of location information the file contains the latitude and longitude so the location type field so latitude make sure that in latitude you make sure that you select uh, latitude and the longitude you make sure you select longitude and once you did that leave the rest as default and i'm going to click next and now add layer so so how will the csv water quality analysis dot csv be added so you can give it a suitable title. For example, I'm going to change the title to the water quality analysis, sample locations and the folder section. So uh, we're going to click the folder section so you can uh, create a new folder or you can select from the existing folder. For example, you can select the existing folder like county boundaries. So for now, we're going to select a new uh, folder. So for that, I'm going to click this option called create a new folder. So we're going to enter the folder name. So now I have entered the folder name as water quality analysis and the tags are going to mention this 
is sample location so first uh, tag is sample and the second uh, tag is location so we're gonna click enter and the summary you can write a short description about this particular uh, data set so I've mentioned as uh, water quality sample location so now we're gonna click this option called create and add to the map so now it's gonna import the data into uh, RGIs online so now we are currently visualizing our data set here so you, the point uh, data set you can able to see this is the water quality locations so you can able to currently visualizing the black dots which are the water quality locations so now I'm gonna navigate the layer section here and in that I'm gonna select this option and uh, we have this variety different options here starting from zoom to layer show properties show table rename and remove so I'm gonna select the first option called second option called show properties and in that I'm gonna navigate the symbology section here so I'm gonna click this option called edit layer properties so now here you can able to see we have choose an ad attribute and the second is a pick a style so uh, in the second option I'm gonna select pick a style here so I'm gonna click this option so now in the styles we have the symbol style I'm gonna click this option now we can select the size of this particular point data for example I'm gonna increase the point size here so we can increase the point size using this particular arrow button or use your uh, use this particular slider here so you can uh, fix the size according to your choice here using the slider option or you can select uh, using this particular uh, arrow here and you can select a uh, color here and the shapes so for example I'm gonna select to a uh, default shape that is the circle uh, circle one here and I'm gonna click done and in the fill color so you can choose your color of your choice here for example I'm gonna select the color I'm gonna select it uh, this particular color so you can choose any color of your choice by adjusting this particular slider here so we're gonna select it uh, to a red color and I'm gonna click done and once you selected that so you can also choose the outline so for example I'm gonna select and I'm gonna select uh, to a black or uh, black color so we're gonna select to a black color here and I'm gonna click done and you can adjust the size of your outline uh, width here so currently it is in default of one so I'm gonna click uh, done here so I'm gonna click this option called done so now it's gonna apply the symbology here so you can able to see the color of this particular point data so now the first option is zoom to layer so you can uh, just click this option and uh, I'm gonna select it, uh, this option called zoom to layer so it's going to zoom into your uh, data set here and uh, the third option is uh, show table which is going to show us the attribute table so now here you can able to see that this is the attribute table of this particular data set I'm going to close this and the fourth option is to rename this so you can rename this particular uh, water quality analysis sample location to a different name by using this option and last is to remove this particular layer you can use this particular option called remove so in this video I have shown you uh, how to uh, how to add a CSV file into RGIs online so thanks for watching and uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like